Welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's Spiritual Classroom. Today we are going to learn a easy way to find the cube root of a number. A cube root, a cube root of any number is a number one multiplied by itself three times. In the regular method, the divisor goes on larger and increases the calculation time and becomes difficult to find the cube root. Let's learn a very easy Vedic math method to find the cube root in seconds. Rule 1 All perfect cubes will have a digital root of 1, 8 or 9. For example, 1 cube is 1 and the digital root of 1 is 1. 2 cube is 8 and the digital root of 8 is 8. 3 cube is 27 and the digital root of 27 is 9. 4 cube is 64 and the digital root of 64 is 1. Remember that the reverse is not true all the time. Which means if a number has a digital root of 1, 8 or 9, it need not be a perfect cube all the times. Rule 2. Arrange the given number in three digit groups from right to left. Left out or one or two digit number will be a group by itself. Note, number of groups equals number of digits in answer. Let's see this table over here. If the given number ends with one, the answer will end in eight. The given number ends with 2, the answer will end in 8. If the given number ends with 8, the answer will end in 2. If the given number ends with 3, the answer will end in 7. If the given number ends with 7, the answer will end in 3. If the given number ends with 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9, the answer will remain as remain the same. For example, the number ends with 5, so the answer will also end in 5. Um, the given number ends with 3, so the answer will end in 7. Um, the given number ends with 9, so the answer will end in 9. The given number ends with 8, so the answer will end in 2. Okay, let's try an example. The cube root of 9261. First, find the digital root for 9261. First, cross out numbers that add up to 9. So, 9 add up to 9. 2 plus 6 plus 1 also add up to 9. Since all numbers add up to 9 or is 9, the digital root of that number is always 9. So, if, if a number's digital root is 1, 8 or 9, the number is a perfect, perfect cube. So, 9261 is a perfect cube. First, find how many groups there are in 9261. 2 and 6 and 1 is one group and 9 by itself is also one group. So, there are two groups in all. So, the answer will be a two-digit number. First, the first, the last number is 1. So, we find 1 on the table. 1 is over here. So, the answer would also be 1. So, write 1 will also end in 1. So, cross out the or box the last 3 digits. So, 2, 6 and 1. The remaining digit is 9. Find where 9 is in the cube table. 9 is in between 2 cube to 3 cube. We take 2 cube. So write 2. So the cube root of 9261 is 21. 
Let's see another example. The cube root of 74088. First, find the digital root of 74088. 7 plus 4 is 11 and 11 plus 8 is 19 and 19 plus 8 is 27 and 2 plus 7 is 9. So the digital root of 74088 is 9. If the digital root of a number is 1, 8 or 9, the number is a perfect cube. So 74088 is a perfect cube. Next, we find how many groups there are in 74088. 0, 8, 8 make a group and 7 and 4 make a group. So there are two groups in all. So the answer will be a two digit number. Next, 74088 ends with 8. So we find 8 on the table. 8 is over here. So the answer will end in 2. So we write 2. Next, we cross or box the last three digits, 0, 8, and 8. The remaining digits are 7 and 4, so we consider it as 74. Next, we find where 74 is in the cube table. 74 is in between 4 cube to 5 cube, so we take 4 cube. So we write 4. So the cube root of 74088 is 442. Now let's see the next example. The cube root of 328509. For rule 1, first find what's the digital root of 328509. First, we find numbers add up to 9. 9 add up to 9. And that's all. So next we add the remaining digits. So 3 plus 2 is 5 and 5 plus 8 is 13 and 13 plus 5 is 18 and 1 plus 8 is 9. So the digital root of 329 328509 is 9. If a number if a number's digital root is 1 8 or 9 it's a perfect cube. So 328509 is a perfect cube. Next, we find how many groups there are in 28509. 5, 0, and 9 is one group. 3, 2, and 8 is another group. So two groups in all. So the answer will be a two digit number. Next, the last 328509 ends with 9. So we find where 9 is in the table. 9 is over here. So the answer will also be 9. So we write 9 over here. So the answer will also end in 9. Next, we box or cross out the last three digits. 5, 0, and 9. Next, the remaining digits are 3, 2, and 8. We consider it as 328. Next, we find where 328 is in the cube table. 328 is in between 6 cube to 7 cube. We take 6 cube. So we write 6. So the cube for 328509 is 69. Let's try another example. The cube root of 636056. First, for rule 1, find out the digital root of 636056. 6 and 3 make 9, so we cross them out and we add the remaining digits. So 6 plus 5 is 11 and 11 plus 6 is 17. So, 1 plus 7 is 8. So, 66056 is a perfect cube because if a number's digital root is 1, 8 or 9, the number is a perfect cube. Next, we find how many groups there are in 636056. 
zero, five, and six is one group. Six, three, six is one group. So there are two groups. So the answer answer will be a two-digit number. So we find where six is in the table. Six is over here. So the answer will also end in six. So write six over here. Next, cross or box the last three digits. The remaining digits are six three six. We consider it as six hundred and thirty six. Next, we find where six hundred and thirty six is in between the cube table. Six hundred and thirty six is in between eight cube to nine cube. We take eight cube. So we write eight. So the cube root of six three six zero five six is eighty six. Let's try another example. The cube root of two four zero six one zero four. For rule one, first find the digital root of two four zero six one zero four. First, cross the numbers and add up to nine. Six plus two plus one adds up to nine, and add the remaining digits up. So, four plus four is eight. So the digital root of two four zero six one zero four is eight. So it is a perfect cube. If a number's digital root is one eight or nine, it is a perfect cube. Next, find how many groups there are in two four zero six one zero four. One zero four is one group. Four zero six is one group, and two by itself is also one group. So three groups in all. Next, the two 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 four zero six one zero four ends with four. So we write four. So we find where four is in the table. Four is over here. So the answer will also. And in four, so we write four. Next, we cross out the last three digits one, zero, and four. Next, the remaining digits are two, four, zero, and six. We consider it as two thousand four hundred and six. We find where two thousand four hundred six is is in the cube table. Two thousand four hundred six. Is is in between thirteen cube to fourteen cube, so we take thirteen cube. So we write thirteen. So the cube root of two four zero six one zero four is one hundred and thirty four. Let's try another example. The cube root of three one seven six five two three. First, for rule one. Find the digital root of three one seven six five two three. First, cross out numbers that add up to nine. So, six plus two plus one adds up to nine, and add up the remaining digits. So. Three plus seven is ten, and ten plus five is fifteen, and fifteen plus three is eighteen, and one plus eight is nine. So the digital root of three one seven six five two three is nine. So three one seven six five two three it is a perfect cube, because if a number digital root is one eight or nine, the number is a perfect cube. Next, find how many groups there are in three one seven six five two three. Five two and three is a group. One seven and six is a group, and three by itself is one group. So there are three groups in all. So the answer will be a three-digit number. Three one seven six five two three ends with three. So we find where three is in the table. Three is over here. So the answer will end in seven. So Write seven. Next, cross out the last three numbers: five, two, and three. 
The remaining digits are 3, 1, 7, 6. We consider it as 3176. We find where 3176 is on the cube table. 3176 is in between 14 cube to 15 cube. So we take 14 cube. So we write 14. So the cube root of 3176523 is 147. Let's try another example. The cube root of 4330747. First, find the digital root of 4330747. So 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 plus 3 is 10. And 10 plus 7 is 17. And 17 plus 4 is 21. And 21 plus 7 is 28. And 2 plus 8 is 10. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So the digital root of 4330747 is 1. So 4330747 is a perfect cube. Because if a number's digital root is 1, 8, or 9, the number is a perfect cube. Next, find how many groups there are in 4330747. 747 make a group, 330 make a group, and 4 by itself makes a group. So 3 groups in all. So the answer will be a 3 digit number. Next, 433074 ends with 7. So we find where 7 is on the table. 7 is over here, so the answer will, will end in 3. So we write 3. Next, we cross out the last 3 digits, 7, 4, and 7. Next, there are 4, 3, 3, 0. We consider as 4,330. We find where 4,330 is in the cube table. 4,330 is in between 16 cube to 17 cube. We take 16 cube. So we write 16. So the cube root of 4330747 is 163. Thanks for watching.